Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. We, today we're going to talk about intrusion detection systems and intrusion detection systems, how to set them up inside uh, OpenSense. Uh, just like PFSense, OpenSense also has an uh, intrusion detection system pre-configured. So we go here to services, intrusion detection, we go to administration and it will uh, load up this menu and I will talk you through. So make sure this is enabled. So the IDS is uh, enabled. You have various modes here, uh, which has to do with uh, how you set up your network. Uh, if this uh, box is configured in, for instance, a load balancing option between uh, several ISPs, promiscuous mode is set up and what is promiscuous mode? Enable promiscuous mode for certain setups like IPS with VLANs, virtual LANs. This is required for actual capture data on the physical interface. So this really depends on how you set up your network, but not to make this tutorial too complicated, I will not go in there. So enable it, uh, enable system logging alerts. And this is very important because an IDS straight out of the box will not function the way you want it. An IDS, an intrusion detection system, will create a lot of noise. Um, sometimes for some reasons the website that you used to visit, you can't visit no more. You really have to go back to the system logging to see why certain things is blocked and you can whitelist and blacklist certain websites. So it's not a set and forget option. This is not a one-off solution for your network security. Um, yeah, too bad. That would be great, right? But um, we'll go in there later why this is not a one-off solution for network security. Let's just um, stick to the basics right now and let's just continue. Pattern matcher, pattern, pattern, attack pattern we're talking about. So signatures that um, hint to the user, to this server, that we're under attack. Right, this is default, reduce memory implementation. This is out of the box. I don't know, I'm not gonna tell you. So this is a pattern matcher. The interface, when? Because all the connections coming to this box are coming from the internet and the internet is the wide area network, right? So we set the interface, this IDS need to function on the WAN interface. Again, this is a firewall, so it has a WAN and a LAN interface and LAN standing for local area network, which is your home network or your office network. Rotate log. So you can have weekly logs, daily logs, depending on the type of traffic you have, um, if you have lots of traffic, m you go to many websites, you use many web services, whatever, uh, you can do it on a daily basis. So you have four days to go back or on a weekly basis. So this is four weeks or a month. You can set it up like that. It really depends. In the beginning, I would set it up daily. And if things are going good and going better, then I would set it back to weekly and just keep it like this right okay ids intrusion detection system it functions on rules and rules can be fetched from these kind of sites abuse tracker fingerprint ips blacklist so what is this basically this is just community settings for cyber attacks Think about your computer, your open sense machine as a, um, as a wall, as a Chinese wall, right? Thousands and thousands of miles long and they're banging at the door every goddamn day. Um, how do you sign that you're under attack? How do you see that? Well, you see rocks being thrown, arrows being thrown, people uh, raise shotguns, people do... Uh, all kinds of crazy stuff to get through the gate. All these kind of things are learned over many years and they're captured and they are, they're stored in the big database. So you want to be able to download that attack pattern to your IDS. So you, you should download these rules. 
URL house, bot, CC, all these great things. And you can download them. I don't have internet on this machine. I'm sorry. See, I got something with the network going on. I can't download them, but you need to download those. They're not installed yet, but you need rules to make sure that your IDS is effective. All right. So these patterns, these download, download these patterns to make sure that your IDS is effective. These are attack patterns so that your IDS knows when it's under attack and then it can log it back to you. And you see some IPs, you see some port numbers and you can act on that. All right. Rules, they're not in place yet. We didn't download anything yet, but first you need to download these kind of rules. And then, yeah, then you can apply them based on certain computers in your network. Let's say for instance that you have one or two servers, you have five clients and you have an IP cam and a couple of IoT devices. You can apply several different rules to several zones in your network. Clients, servers, IoT devices, and you can set up several rules that can, you know, be applied to those kind of devices inside your network. Right? So you have several layers in your network. User defined. Let's go ahead and here do something. Enable this. So the source IP and the destination IP. Right? So what do I allow to go to this firewall? The source, where it's coming from, what IP is it coming from? Where is it going to? Is there a certain SSL fingerprint? Is there a certain key? What kind of action should it do? It should alert me, it should drop the connection or it should pass the connection. Alert me, drop the connection, so refuse it basically or pass through. And a description. So FTP traffic, open VPN traffic, uh, SSH connections to this machine, whatever you want. You can set it all up in here with rules, user defined. But that means you first need to download the system, download the rules, set it up, define certain uh, network segments. So clients, servers, IoT devices, what I talked about earlier. So for different segments in your network, you should set it up. Alerts. Um, at this moment, of course, there's no traffic running through here. But this tab is pretty important to make sure that your IDS uh, can function well. All these alerts will tell you what's going on inside your network. And again, straight out of the box, the IDS will create a lot of noise, a lot of noise. Um, a lot of them you can ignore, but if for some reason you used to connect to CNN.com or to YouTube or to Yahoo or whatever it is, and all of a sudden you can't go to that website no more, you should check this alert. You should clear the log and then try it again, because then... Again, an IDS will create a lot of noise. You need to clear the log, you need to do your action, and then it will capture, be captured here in the alert. And then you can see based on what reason that website is blocked, and you can whitelist it so it works again. So this is a very important tab to make sure that your IDS will work in a great way. Schedule. What is schedule about? The command. This is the most important. Update and reload inclusion detection rules. So this is basically a job to update the IDS rule settings. And you can do that. You can do that every hour, every two hours, every 12 hours, uh, every first day of the month. It really depends on what your what your need is. Uh, it will take some um, CPU to uh, download it and to reload it and your network depending on the hardware you use will be unavailable for a little while but I think for home users every uh, 48 hours will be sufficient and for every uh, for a company every six hours or so 
you know, just a couple of times uh, in 24 hours, it will be sufficient. So to sum it all up, IDS, intrusion detection system. Um, I didn't really cover the intrusion prevention system yet, but this is really what you want to know. What's happening on the outside of the network, so on the internet side, knocking on the front door with intrusion detection. You can really see in this tab alert what's happening, who's banging on the front door, who's trying what on what spot board and on, with what uh, password and what they try to do. So attack patterns. It might be bots, so automated scripts, but it might also be a passionate hacker that uh, maybe somebody from high school that used to hate you and got your IP address and now he tried to see what he can do online you know you never know i'm just saying intrusion detection is is very nice um intrusion prevention is something i will cover in the next video uh, but just to know what's going on uh, inside your network is already very good that's great intel uh, that can uh, shield you from fur uh, further attacks because if you have intel you can you know uh, you can shield yourself from these kind of attacks in the future. Intel is everything. Information is power. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Might be a little bit long, but um, hey, we do this with great passion. I really want to thank all your new subscribers on this channel. I really appreciate it. We'll continue doing this series. And uh, very soon we'll move on to Kali Linux and we go into some hacking stuff, you know. Thanks for watching. We we'll see you guys soon.